Explain Dancecapes as a celebration of all of the work that we put in over the past nine months. Student choreographers, dancers, designers, and faculty, we all put in a lot of time and effort to make one show come out of it, and the end result is something that we couldn't do alone, and we certainly couldn't do it if even one person was missing from that group. It's um, a lot of fun and a compilation of uh, different artistic views and how other people would express dance. Uh, it's not your average um, like little kid recital or studio recital. It's a lot different, and it requires you um, to have a more creative thought process while watching it. Um, it's very professional, um, and a lot of the pieces are meant to make you think. My piece is a mix of dance, music, and multimedia. Um, everything and anything inspires my work. Um, this work actually started in the line at the grocery store. So my piece is uh, modern, more contemporary. Um, I have six dancers, and it's mostly about um, like relationships and how sometimes you get stuck in ones that you are thinking you're getting out of or don't want to be in, yet you keep finding yourself going back same place but that could go for a lot of things I think so. So my work is inspired by I guess my life and like um, a lot of the training I've had throughout with dance um, so a lot of my favorite moves I guess are in it. Um. Um, a new skill that I have learned while creating this piece was to use Isadora which is the program that we used for my multimedia. Um, I learned not only how to build the show, but how to run it and work it and make sure that all everything works the way it should. I guess I've just learned a lot about like taking the time and putting in the time to create this is not the easiest, so really dedication with this. I started dancing when I was a little kid and then kind of continued with it on and off and then I got really involved once I got to my sophomore year in college. Um, for actually performing, I am in one piece, which is Anna Brueggemann, it's called Edison Spark. I'm also helping out with tech for Stacy's, and then I'm an understudy for the guest artist piece. I have been dancing since the beginning of my sophomore year of college, so fairly recently. This year in Dancecapes, I am a part of four different pieces. I think my biggest challenge was learning to adapt to Whitewater's style of modern. That was something that was really new for me, and I came from a tap background. So it was challenging to kind of learn what the aesthetic is here at UW Whitewater and how I can use my talents to fit into that. Oh my gosh, uh, resting. Resting and time management. <laughs> making sure I can come back and do this 100%. So making sure that um, everything here, the dancer's tool, the body is in uh, tip top shape. <laughs> the variety in the show. There's just so much um, different stuff going on this year. Um, lots of fun pieces, lots of light and airy pieces, and then also some more darker pieces. So there's a great variety. Being able to dabble in um, the different varieties of, uh, of styles of dance that people uh, choreograph. So being able to uh, adventure into different parts of dance that I'm not really comfortable with, like trying them out. My favorite part of Dancecapes 14 has been uh, being in Daniel Stark's guest artist piece. Um, even though there were some very long rehearsals, it taught me a lot more about uh, the dance world just because he does have so much experience and I think we are around a lot of the same people all the time and the same professors so it's nice to get another outside look at what um, the dance field really is and especially in another state too. My favorite part about Dancecapes 14 is the people that I get to work with. I've had the opportunity to meet and become friends with a number of people throughout the theater dance department. And it's really exciting to see how those relationships end up forming works of art that we're able to show on stage.